and it's not the solution. Kia ora tato. I call Jamie Lee Ross, five minutes in reply. Mr Speaker, can I say thanks to the House for considering uh, this member's bill. Uh, thanks to my side, uh, the National Party MPs, for uh, supporting this, and also David Seymour. I asked uh, David Seymour and Shane Retty particularly to speak on this bill because they brought uh, the experience as local MPs who have had uh, constituents come to them, as have I, about this particular issue. Uh, where there are real and genuine concerns uh, around this activity and their electorates, and I thank them for their contributions. Can I thank Stuart Nash for his words uh, and his support as well? I discussed this with Stuart Nash uh, some weeks ago, and uh, I think Stuart Nash uh, made some comments about a, a pragmatic solution uh, to an issue, uh, and, and I view this bill uh, as exactly that. It's taking an issue which councils are dealing with at the moment uh, around the country, and it's not just Auckland. There are councils up and down the country that have dealt with this issue, uh, but it is predominantly in Auckland. But they are dealing with it in a way which is not effective, in a way where they have to take prosecutions, clog up the court's time uh, to deal with an issue, and go through a system which can take many, many weeks as well. The police have asked for a tool to be able to deal with it. Police have a, uh, a strategy or, or a way in which they work where they believe in prevention first. Prevention first. That's very much their approach to this issue. Uh, quite frankly, um, they don't care that much about someone on the side of the road uh, washing a windscreen. But they do care about the other issues that can escalate um, out of that. And I want to read an extract from a letter the police wrote to the Auckland Council about this. The, washing of, uh, the window washing of vehicles stopped at traffic lights and intersections, particularly at key intersections in central and south Auckland, has become a significant issue for motorists and a constant source of complaint. The practice breaches the Council's public safety and nuisance bylaw and is fundamentally unsafe, intimidating and causes a nuisance to drivers and obstruction to traffic. When Catherine Delahante says this is a load of rubbish, I'd like her to say that to the parents of the school children in Green Lane uh, that were attacked by window washers. I don't think they believe this is a, a load of rubbish. I'd like her to say that to the police constables and inspectors and sergeants that view on a regular basis gang activity um, in this area, where they say that window washing including disorder, uh, window washing and the problems associated with it, including disorder, vehicle crime, assault and willful damage and uh, these related activities to police are distressing. Uh, Mr Speaker, that's what this is about. It's about dealing uh, with the problem before it becomes a bigger issue. And I know that uh, councils and police are concerned that we do have these wider issues taking place. Now, I accept the wording that's been raised a couple of times. Mr O'Rourke raised uh, the wording. I've taken the wording of the Auckland Council bylaw and inserted it into uh, the bill. If the Transport Industrial Relations Select Committee can come up with better wording, then I'm all for that. I look forward to, hearing, I look forward to that committee hearing submissions, submissions on the bill uh, and coming up with better wording if there is better wording out there. Uh, I do want to say to uh, Mr O'Rourke, though, uh, when he says this is unnecessary, there will be, I suspect, uh, many, many people that are making submissions on this that will say having an effective tool for the police is necessary. But when he asks the question, is this my best contribution, I'm happy to say no, it's not my best contribution to criminal justice. My best contribution to criminal justice is being part of a national-led government yeah, yeah, that's seen more police on the streets, that has done more to uh, support victims of crime, that has done more to reform bail laws, that has done more to tackle gangs. That's my best contribution to criminal justice, being part of a wider team that is doing a lot of good work. But as a local electorate MP, as someone that was elected by 70,000 people to serve them as their representative, when they've come Come to me with an issue that they are concerned about. When our local police have constantly raised this with me as a local MP, I have a method where I can attempt to support them. A member's bill is a way to do that, and that is why I have brought this uh, forward. Melissa Lee said um, the council and police are backing great work of Ms Ross. Actually, Melissa, you're a bit wrong. I'm supporting the great work that the local council and the police are doing. And Mr Speaker, I think we should be um, tackling this and giving police the toolbox. I'm I'm disappointed New Zealand First are not supporting this. They are supposed to be, uh, they view themselves as the party of law and order. And 
No, I don't think they're out of touch. I, I think they're just opposing it for the sake of opposing it. But, Mr Speaker, there's real concern out there, and if we can help police and help councils, we should be doing that. Thank you to the House for their uh, consideration. Members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. No. A party vote is called for. I'll ask the clerk to conduct a party vote.